Lottery enthusiasts are always looking for new strategies to boost their odds of winning. Many lottery players wonder about the timing of their ticket purchases. Just when is the best time to buy lottery tickets? Is it better to buy tickets at a certain time of day, day of the week, or month of the year? Because, well, if timing was an important factor in boosting your odds of winning, that would certainly be a great thing to know, right? You'd be able to schedule your lottery purchases with a bit more confidence that you were putting the odds in your favor. This could transform you from the average lottery player who typically loses more than wins to a lottery genius who wins more than they lose. That's why it's important in this video we reveal the truth about how timing does or doesn't impact your odds of winning. We'll review what experts say about the best time to buy lottery tickets, sorting fact from fiction. And you'll want to stick around because then we'll discuss the real world story of a couple whose money winning timing strategy transformed them into superstar lottery players, helping them rack up over $26 million in winnings. Lastly, we'll discuss the five crucial signs you need to know that signal your time is up when playing the lottery. We've got a lot to cover, so let's dive right in. Lottery timing. Facts versus Fiction Lottery officials and experts agree the odds of winning the lottery remain the same regardless of when you buy your ticket. There really is no best time to buy a lottery ticket. In lottery games, the numbers are drawn at random during each event. The month, day, or time of purchase does not influence the likelihood of winning. Each number combination has the exact same probability of being drawn during each separate drawing. Some people believe that buying a ticket when a lottery jackpot is high increases their chances of winning, but this also is not true. The expected return on a lottery ticket increases as the jackpot grows, but the odds of winning remain the same. Lottery games are designed to be random. Each drawing is independent of the ones before it. This means that every drawing has the same odds, regardless of when it occurs, when you buy your tickets, or the size of the jackpot. For example, according to US lottery officials, the odds of winning the Mega Millions grand prize are 1 in 302,575,350. These odds remain the same for each and every drawing. Another thing to keep in mind is that larger jackpots tend to draw more players. If you only play when the jackpot is big, this could mean that if you do win, there's a higher chance that you'll need to split the jackpot with other winners. Conversely, some people believe the best time to play is when there are fewer players buying tickets. So this strategy hinges on playing the lower jackpot drawings, as you could assume these drawings might have fewer players. The truth is buying lottery tickets when fewer people are buying doesn't change your odds of winning the jackpot. Again, those odds are determined by the total possible number combinations, not by the number of players or tickets sold. That being said, buying when fewer people are playing might have a slight advantage in the sense that if you do win, you are less likely to have to split the jackpot with other winners. This is because fewer winning tickets will be in circulation. But again, this doesn't improve your chances of winning, only the amount you might win. However, there have been unique instances where lottery players have successfully used timing strategies to win large sums of money. For example, one couple's timing strategy outsmarted the lottery for a whopping $26 million windfall. Jerry and Marge Selby are a retired U.S. couple who used a technique known as roll-down betting to win millions in the lottery. They achieved the spectacular feat playing the Michigan Lottery's game called Cash Windfall, and a similar game offered by another state lottery. The strategy had a timing aspect to it because it relied upon them recognizing when the right time was to buy tickets. At that point, they went all in. Now, I'll reveal the Selby's millionaire making strategy in just a second, but before I do, make sure to subscribe and leave a comment below saying, I subscribed, and we'll do our best to respond to your comments. So here's the strategy the Selby's used. Step one, identifying the roll down. 
Windfall had a rule where if the jackpot hit five million dollars and no one matched all six numbers, the jackpot would roll down to the lower prize tiers. This meant that even those who matched fewer numbers stood to win a much larger prize than usual. Step number two, timing their purchases. Jerry and Marge would buy tickets only during roll down weeks. This meant the expected return on investment was statistically higher. Jerry, having a background in mathematics, knew that during these weeks, the more tickets they bought, the more their chances of winning increased. Step number three, buying in bulk. Jerry and Marge formed a lottery pool comprised of friends and family. They purchased hundreds of thousands of tickets during roll down weeks. Their strategy was based on volume. The more tickets they bought, the higher their chances of winning. Step number four, reinvesting their winnings. They would use the money they won to buy more tickets for future roll downs, thereby increasing their potential winnings each time. Important, be aware the Selby strategy is not a guaranteed win. It's based on probabilities and requires a significant upfront investment. It's also worth noting that since their success, many lotteries have altered their rules to prevent this kind of strategy from being possible. Five warning signs, it's time for you to quit playing the lottery. Speaking of time and playing the lottery reminds me of Kenny Rogers' rendition of the song, The Gambler. In the song, the gambler talks about recognizing the crucial moment when you need to cash in your chips and stop chasing an elusive dream. As a lottery player, you'll want to pay attention to these five signs that warn you it's time to step away from playing the lottery. Sign number one, you're spending money you can't afford to lose. Responsible gambling means only spending surplus money money that's left over after paying all your bills, savings, and necessary expenses. If you find yourself reaching into your rent or grocery money to buy lottery tickets, you're walking a risky line. Sign number two, the lottery is negatively impacting your personal relationships. When your attention to lottery begins to interfere with family time, friendships, or causes disagreements about money, it's time to reassess. Relationships are a critical part of our lives and provide a support network that is invaluable during tough times. If your lottery playing is causing strain or leading to conflicts, this is a clear sign you need to change your behavior. Sign number three, you're neglecting other important financial goals. Whether it's saving for retirement, creating an emergency fund, or making a down payment on a home. Financial goals require consistent effort and planning. If you're funneling money into the lottery instead of these important financial milestones, you're doing your future self a disservice. Remember, a solid financial future isn't built on luck, but careful planning and intelligent saving. Sign number four, you're developing superstitious behaviors or beliefs. As we discussed earlier, lottery results are random. They are not a result of superstition. If you find yourself strongly believing in rituals or behaviors that you think increase your odds, it might be a sign you're developing an unhealthy relationship with the lottery. Psychologists warn against such superstitions as they might be indicative of problematic gambling behavior. Sign number five, you feel a compulsive need to play. A desire to play the lottery can become a compulsion if not checked. If you find yourself feeling anxious or unsettled when you're not able to buy a ticket, you may be developing a gambling addiction. Recognize these feelings as a warning sign and seek help from a licensed professional who can provide guidance and resources. Playing the lottery can be a harmless hobby, but it's essential to remain vigilant for signs that it's becoming a problem. Summing it all up, the time you play the lottery should be enjoyable and not put you at financial risk. And with that, we've come to the end of our video. We hope you've discovered something new and interesting. Be sure to hit that subscribe button for more videos on how to increase your wealth. Thanks for watching.